Tender not your resignation, instead drink a great libation, for what you have never found is here and you will find it truly dear. What you would never have thought is true, someone has found a use, for you. We have a machine for useless thought. So pondering does not go for naught, but creates castles in the sky with stairways spiraling mountains high, and I declare from this day Hensley who thinks this way is a master of nonsense. We see a view of the Zolic planet and of the Zolic homestead with three cars. We have found a place for you so you have nothing else to do but claim your homestead on our planet a house grandly built from Earth's granite. You are worth so much to our society that your cars will number not two but three, and you will have four pools in your backyard. My, you have drawn a fabulous card. Quasix looks at the camera with sparkling eyes. Your wife is green and lovely too she is already won by you, for in your mind we see the sparkling seed. And of this she will take great heed. Talent is a terrible thing to waste, so to our planet come with haste. The spaceship's speed is fast as lightning, but what could be even more frightening is, if you were to go astray. We need you now on course. To stay for trouble is coming from planet Tart and their minds are even stronger than that of the Martian. They have discovered a machine, and with it their aim and endeavor is to set our planet burning like your hell. We finally have found someone. Clever not, as we are, but as the machine needs, for logic is our true aim and our feelings never seem to be enough to produce great things. So to this I make you bid an offer and ask you to join us to stay, keep us from a dark dank coffer and save us from our coming doomsday. Your offer's fine and quite poetic, but that makes it no less pathetic, for it does not include in good tender a cone of ice cream in all its splendor. I would like this added to the deal or a denial I may reveal. We offer not one cone but three, for we will have to pay the price, if the deal is not to be. But no more than three cones of ice, while we are nice we have to set our limit. I see that there is something to be said, for the nonsense floating in your head. For what are even a hundred ice cream cones when weighed against billions of piles of bones? I reckon I could work, for you I have always wanted to be vice president, so let me ask are you the one who can give me tutelage to learn and become resplendent? You. Want to learn to you I want to teach we will not get what we want for my mind just cannot reach the talent you refuse to flaunt. You may learn some things from me, but you are the one I want to be. The council chooses you for president, that is the message that has been sent. You will learn the most of what you can from you, as we think you might claim for everyone to choose. Yet we hope that others can learn much when you teach, so that there are greater heights that we may reach. To be a president is an honor, but I do not want to become grandiose, for I know there must be many who can better ponder why we butter only one side of toast. I've always wanted to be vice president, but I see that is not the way the council's will is spent. What? Of the fishies who taught me has no one said that they should be here in my stead. You have such a strong imagination and don't always know what is real and what is in your head. It should be your great placation to know that the fishies are all happily sleeping in their beds. The fishies are happy where they are and what's more we think you'll go twice as far with their tutelage in your noodles you may yet exceed them by oodles. I have thought of a good answer to the question of the toast, but I will keep your mind moving like a dancer since I will not tell you in regretful boast. If I could but keep my mind occupied with something silly not denied then I would be on the way to a very happy day. Back to the point of our conversation.